Hello everyone, PS here with another how-to video. Today we're gonna talk about how sometimes your USB seems to disconnect and reconnect real quickly. And especially if you have a USB hub, it can be quite annoying because it disables all the stuff on the USB hub. Um, and, and I noticed this issue a few times on my own setup. My sound card would sometimes uh, reset and lose my connection to... to to the sound driver. Um, I also started having problems with the mouse and I always thought it was because of lack of power. I have an externally uh, powered USB just to make sure that I always have power and I still get these glitches sometimes. So I looked it up on the internet and I, I noticed that there is something you can try to do to make sure that you avoid these kind of issues. So if you go to device manager, this is for Windows obviously, if you go to device manager on your universal serial bus controllers you have this option in properties where you can go to power management and you can deselect the allow the computer to turn off this device to save power so what the computer does is that when it thinks that the usb thing is not being used it powers it off to save power which is very nice for the environment but if the driver is not implemented correctly or the computer is not detecting things properly, it can think that you're not using whatever it is that you're using on the USB, but it's still actually connected there. And so it turns it off uh, even though you're still using it. And that's where these glitches come from. So to make sure that you have a more robust uh, connection, this will use more power, but it's it's better in the long run for your stability of your computer. You can do it for just more critical stuff like the sound card or USB hub in particular that you want. So you can remove this checkbox, you can remove from all of these USB hubs, you can also remove it from the USB composite device I think. No, no power management here, but the generic hub I think has that as well. Yeah, it also has this option. And Beyond these universal serial bus controllers, there is also the uh, HMI, where is it? human interface devices. If you go here, you also have some USB input devices and you can also uh, change this setting here. Um, I think it depends, especially for your mouse, uh, the driver can sometimes be from the human interface devices instead of the universal serial bus controllers so i think you need to disable on both i'm not sure if they're like linked or something but anyways be aware that you have this option here so you can try that if you notice that it's not working um so yeah that's it uh, just uncheck this checkbox and it should be fine some people also recommend that you uninstall the driver if it's special if it's specific to a single device like for example only your mouse stops working usually it's a conflict with the mouse itself but if it's multiple usb devices usually it's this problem um while we're at it if you only have a problem for a specific mouse or for a specific keyboard you should go here to the device manager again let's open this up again and go to the specific one for example it's your keyboard you go to this one you can uninstall the driver or uninstall the device and then unplug it from the socket restart your computer plug it back in and it will auto detect and reinstall the driver and that might clean up some issues that you have you can also try to update your current driver and if it finds a new one it might fix the issues that you were having so this works for keyboards for mice for whatever usb device you have even uh, other kinds of peripherals um, if you start having conflict problems you should always uh, remove the usb from from the thing go here to device manager remove the driver for it and then restart your computer and then plug in the usb to make sure that it auto detects and tries to reinstall it fresh clean um so yeah that's it hope this video was useful see you guys around on the next video uh, bye bye everyone take care